Today, this wheel will determine what set I have to buy when we go to the store later in the video and look for Pokemon cards. As you can see, the wheel has a bunch of different sets on it, all sets that I feel like I've recently seen at the store. So hopefully it won't be too hard to find any of these. We have Darkness Ablaze, Fusion Strike, Celebrations, Battle Style, Shining Fates, Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, Brilliant Stars, two spots for Brilliant Stars because I love that set and Evolving Skies, of course. I'm gonna give the wheel a spin and whatever set it lands on is the set that I have to then go to the store and buy. And if I don't find it at the first store, I have to go to the second store and I have to go to the third store and so on and so forth. I will go for as long as I can to try and find whatever set this lands on. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, this one might actually be a little bit difficult. We have to find some Shining Fates. Now, I have recently seen that Shining Fates ETBs were getting a bit of a reprint or a restock. So it's possible we might find an ETB. I've also seen the last few times at Walmart some Shining Fates collections boxes. But I feel like this one's going to be a lot tougher than a lot of the other ones on the wheel. So... We'll have to give it a shot. So let's head off to the first store and see if we can find some. All right, guys, we are at our first location. It is a Walmart in the middle of nowhere. I'm hoping that there is less competition out here, so I might be able to find what we are looking for, which is some Shining Fates. Let's head on in and see if we can find anything. Holy crap, guys, so we got extremely lucky. There were tons of Pokemon cards today, new stuff, even some old stuff like Crimson Invasion Elite Trainer Boxes and Darkness Ablaze Elite Trainer Boxes and a ton of Shining Fates, the one thing that we came out looking for. So I ended up getting one Shining Fates box, the Bolton V Shiny Collection Box. I believe there's five packs in here. We'll have to bring this home and open it up. I was super surprised to see everything we did. I even went up front by the check lanes. There was even more stuff. There were a ton of those Reshiram, Charizard, Gold, promo card boxes. There were loads of the Glaceon and Leafeon V-Star boxes. There was an insane amount of Elite Trainer boxes. Like, this is a good sign. I know that it's been getting better over the last probably six months of finding stuff in stores, but this place was jam packed and I hope that if you guys go and look at your Walmart and your Target and your different places that have cards I hope they're as jam-packed as this one is and we can start getting all them cards out there to everyone that wants them Let's get this box home open it up and see if we can hit that Charizard finally We made it back to the office and it is now time to open the Shining Fates Bolton V shiny collection box that we found at Walmart today that the wheel of doom picked out for us to buy so let's open this thing up get these five packs out see if we can pull that charizard we get this awesome bolton shiny v it, they did have the other one the eldegoss and the pulte guys i think i wanted to get the bolton just because bolton is my favorite of the three that come in this shiny collection box all right guys five packs five chances at the charizard that continues to elude us i'm pretty sure the last time i opened this set was when we opened the 100 packs on stream and did not pull the Charizard. I literally bought 10 Elite Trainer boxes thinking, you know what, I can't possibly open 100 packs and not pull the Charizard. Well, that's exactly what happened. 100 packs, no Charizard. So let's see if we can get lucky enough today to pull that Charizard. Here we go. We got Horsey, Cufins, Choodle, Yanma, Morpeko, Oh, nice. All right. So we got a way off center. Holy crap. Look at that left side. So thick compared to that right. But I don't think I have this one in my binder yet. The Frost Moth Shiny Vault card. And we have behind that a Dreadnought Regular Rare. Take a look at this thing. Holy buckets. That is, that's got a fat left side, man. Code card. That's a good start, though. Happy we were able to start with a shiny, and especially a shiny that I don't already have in my binder. I don't even think I've seen that shiny yet, so I, I like Frostmoth. Frostmoth is really cool. I think um, Frostlass is probably one of my favorite ice-type Pokemon, I would say. But Frost Frostmoth is also pretty awesome. You can tell that they got a little lazy with the naming. They just go Frost and then 
what's next for, for our new ice Pokemon, but we got Spinarak, Shinx, Coughing. Let's see if we can get a full art shiny out of this collection. Oh my God, another shiny. See, here's the problem, is that these were all probably cut from the same sheet. So we're gonna have incredibly off left to right shinies throughout this entire collection box. Um, but we got the Farfetch'd, which I think, again, I don't think I have that card uh, in my binder. And we also got a Rillaboom Holographic. That's a decent pack right there. Two packs, two shinies. That's a pretty nice hit rate so far. No full art shinies yet though. Um, fingers crossed we get a cool full art shiny in this opening. Choodle, Spinarak, Cufint. I think I see something back there. I de oh my God, another shiny. What is up with these hits? And this one has much better centering. We got the NDD shiny. What's behind here? Oh, it's the it's the rainbow cake. The one rainbow card in this set that you pull over and over and over again. It's not incredibly rare to pull this, but it's pretty awesome to get a double hit pack. We got the NDD mini shiny, baby shiny, and we got the rainbow owl creamy VMAX. All right, I'm down. I'm down. I'll take it. I'll take it. Pretty amazing uh, hit so far. I mean, every single pack has had a baby shiny or better. We got horsey. Rowlet, more Peko, Spinarak, Snom. No, we got a Reverse Hollow Luxio and a regular Boss's Orders. So apparently Boss's Orders is really good in the TCG. That's why we keep seeing it reprinted over and over and over again in sets. Cause I guess it's just a really good card in the TCG and they wanna make sure that it's available for everyone that wants it, which I think is kind of cool. It does kind of bloat sets when you have so many cards being reprinted a lot, but it's really good for the TCG for availability reasons that they continue to do that. So it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword, but overall it's probably a net good. Three baby shinies, one rainbow. We're doing solid for ourselves. This is our last pack. We got Horsey, Rowlet, Morpeko, Spinarak, Snom, Reverse Holo Frostmoth. All right, not the shiny, but a Reverse Holo. And a Yan Mega. All right. Well, hey, you know what? That's pretty sick. Out of five packs, oh, sorry. There you go. Out of five packs, three of the packs had baby shinies, and one of the packs had the Rainbow Owl Creamy V Max. So that's pretty sick. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed the wheel kind of determining things about today's video, what I can buy, where I can buy it, let me know in the comments below. It really helps out to get your feedback on these types of things. If you enjoyed the video today and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. And if you are subscribed but haven't hit the notification bell, definitely hit the bell for notifications. That lets you know immediately when I post a brand new video. All right, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one.